and let's jump right in. All right, what is up everyone? What is up Habit Hackers? It is Coach D, Coach David from FU Fitness. And today I wanna to help you guys improve the quality of your habits. So let me figure out stuff. Here we go. All right, cool. So you should be able to see me and my wonderful partner, Candice here at FU Fitness, and let's go right into it. And so improving the quality of your habits, right? And so change your habits, change your life. If you can improve the quality of your habits, you can improve the quality of your life. And so first things first, like if you're listening to this and you like don't want to improve your life at all, you don't want to move forward in any direction, you're totally good with like where things are at and you're totally complacent, like this is not the training for you. So you can go ahead and hop off. But if you're like, yeah, I want some better habits. I want to put my life on autopilot and move myself forward. Then this is totally for you. Okay. And so what we're going to cover today is like, what is a habit? We'll do a quick review on that. We'll talk about high quality habits versus low quality habits, right? And just get clear on what that is. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, analyze your daily habits, like using a worksheet and then at the end, if you guys want support or if you have any questions, like feel free to comment or if you want to just slide into my DMs and we can really like talk about how we can hack your habits, like feel free to do that, right? Our clients are absolutely crushing it, even though there's a pandemic and we would love for you to be one of them, okay? And so what is a habit? And so a habit, okay, here's the best part, a settled or regular tendency or practice, right? So a habit is really just something that we regularly do. And especially that's something that's hard to give up, right? And so most people like they brush their teeth first thing in the morning, that's hard to give up. If you talk to someone that works out like every day at five in the morning, like that is a habit that's hard for them to give up. Um, and, so, and you know, bad habits, the same thing. If you're in a habit of like excessive drinking, like that's hard to give up too, right? And so it's a regular set, tense, settled tendency or practice. But here's, here's a quick fact for you guys. 45% of what we do every day is because of habits, right? And so most of the time we're not thinking, we're on autopilot relying on our habits. And that's 45% of like every day, what we do is habit-based, okay? So this is important stuff. This is half of your freaking day and you can turn on autopilot. So really high quality habits versus low quality habits, okay? And so this is the way I like to define it. High quality habits propel us forward in our life towards our goals and desires, right? Whether that be in our fitness or family or finances or our health, um, a high quality habit like moves us forward, right? Towards something that we desire or towards a goal that we've set for ourselves, right? A low quality habit hinders progress or keeps us where we are, right? So there's no momentum. There's no propellation. <laughs> I don't think that's the word, um, but it's not propelling us forward. Right. And so it hinders our progress or keeps us stuck. And I don't want you to say stuck. Right. And so I've been stuck, stuck in some bad habits, stuck in some habits that like have triggered things for me, anxiety, depression, whatever, low quality habits, get low quality results, high quality habits, move us forward in a, in a better quality or high quality direction. Right. And so is it easy no, it's not that easy. Like changing our habits isn't easy. Like parting ways with our old habits or replacing them with good habits is not a simple task, right? It takes commitment, willpower, and like a desire to overcome the seemingly natural tendencies, right? To like your body is like already starting to do it, but you have to overcome that desire, especially when it's a bad habit. And especially when it's something that we like and we've regularly settled into it, right? But once we form these new habits, the same thing happens, right? They become just as powerful. They become our 45% and they become an autopilot. So no, changing your habits isn't, isn't easy. But when you get to the phase, like when you get through the four stages of habits and when you start to like the new habits that you created, it does get easier. That becomes your 45%, but changing that 45%, it, it's not easy. I want to be real with you guys, but if we can start to analyze our habits, we can start to pick away at it, right? We start to chip away at it one habit at a time. And every time we do that, we propel ourselves forward, right? And so here is a quick exercise for you guys to do. Here's an example of how to analyze your habits, right? And so grab a piece of paper. Um, you can make a worksheet just like me, whatever. It's really about analyzing the habits and then implementing new things to overcome them. So right now I just want to focus on analyzing the habits. So this is a quick five habit 
tracker that I use and it really identifies like key, oh, really identifies like key times for us, right? And so at least what I think. And so I want you to do the same thing. So you might have 10 different times, you might have 20 different times, you might have two different things, whatever's gonna work for you, but think about the things that you do regularly when they occur and then the habit that you have, right? So let's start the morning example, right? Wake up. And so some people have the habit of laying in bed and scrolling socials. Is that high quality habit or low quality habit? Probably a low quality habit, right? It's not taking us forward towards anything. Number two, like AM. So that could be like the morning time, right? The mid-morning, whatever. Prepare a smoothie and then pack meals and snacks for the rest of the day. Like if you can get yourself into a habit of that, like that's a high quality habit, right? You're getting some nutrition in and you're planning to be successful with your nutrition for the rest of the day. That's a high quality habit. Let's make that habit, right? Uh, lunchtime, right? So here's one example. Go for a, a walk during your lunch break and eat at your desk. Um, at another time. And I know we have some clients that do that good on them because it's important to break up your day. Another example of lunchtime could be like, leave your desk, go sit in the break room, eat your lunch and scroll on the phone, like high quality habit, low quality habit, right? Ask yourself that question. PM. So this could be in the evening, um, after work, whatever, like burst straight in the door after work and take out your work stress on your family and loved ones. So I know it sounds funny, but some of us have that habit, right? When things go wrong, we like take it out on someone. So is that a high quality habit or is that a low quality habit, right? Is it serving you or hindering your growth? Bedtime. So here's like, here's a trick question here for you guys. Bedtime. So it's watch one hour Netflix while stretching instead of sitting, right? And so to me, that's a high quality habit, right? You're getting some relaxation time and not every habit has to be super hard, right? You can just like... Um, the alternative to that is like watch three hours of Netflix and sit on the couch and not move the entire time. Right. And that's a low quality habit. And so there's no black and white, there's higher quality habits and lower quality habits, but ultimately the quality of the habit is really going to depend on how it implements into you and your life and how it works. And so just go through this exercise, right? What's the first thing I do when I wake up? What's my mid-morning routine? Like what's my lunchtime or midday routine? What do I do after work or in the evening? And what do I do right before I go to bed? Like those are five key areas where we can, if we can make that 45% right into high quality habits, that's most of our life, okay? And so as always, change your habits, change your life once and for all. So if you guys have any questions about this training or if you have any questions about any habits that you may, may or may not have, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And next, if you're looking for some support, if you're like, David, this habit hacking thing, it sounds awesome. I just don't know where to start. I'm not hundred percent sure what to do. I totally get it. I've totally been there. And that's really what we do is we help our clients change their habits so they can change their life once and for all. And we would love for you to be our next success story. So that is it for today's training. Again, I hope to see some love in the comments or questions in the comments, or if you want to slide in my DMs, feel free. Okay. Peace.